Hello students welcome back to e-commerce class today we are going to discuss the new topic introduction to supply chain management and one more topic supply chain integration supply chain management system here supply chain management system is the process of planning implementing and controlling the operations of the supply chain as efficiency as possible one more definition you can say for supply chain management it is an interdisciplinary field that emphasizes cross functional links and seeks to manage those links to enhance a company's competitive advertisement here in supply chain management system all the raw material the suppliers the company the product and the customers all are linked together the manufacturers the huge companies raw the retailers and the raw material raw material suppliers everybody is linked together in this supply chain management system it is the integration of internal and external trading partners on the supply and process chain to get orders from customers raw materials from suppliers and finished product to end users like in electronic business or in e-commerce the everything is linked here that manages that system is known as supply chain management system like best example is whenever you order the order any product from the net automatically that will be recorded by the companies who are going to give advertisement for you people those advertised companies will order that product from the manufacturing units the manufacturing units will be linked with the raw material suppliers as well as the finished product they will purchase from the suppliers who will supply those products they will keep in godons or warehouses or maybe one location will be kept for that from that location the order will be placed by the name of customer who likes that product and who enter all the details for purchasing that product after getting the information the companies will order the product they they will send to the shipment ship who will transfer that product to customer location within a two days you will get your product in your doorstep this whole management everything will be called as here supply chain management system okay this picture shows the simple supply chain flow diagram in this raw material will go to suppliers the suppliers will manufacture the goods whichever ordered by different companies company will be linked with the suppliers again the company will display the product the products are purchased by the customers by seeing this picture you will be knowing like raw material suppliers company product and customers all are linked together here this is simple supply chain flow diagram how it will go like product to customer here supply chain management is concerned with the management of all aspects of the processes that produce a product or a service including the manufacturing process the acquisition process of raw materials 
components and services the inventory holding handling the human resource management processes the procurement processes the distribution processes and other processes everything is the, there in supply chain management system like here with the borders opening up and companies facing stiff global competition for the first time in decades companies need to adapt themselves to better ways of doing global business so adaptation would include moving towards computerized paperless operations to reduce operating costs and facilitate the adaptation of new processes like here newly four key technologies that can contribute significantly to improving the speed of delivery and lowering cost of shipment in e-commerce like one is electronic data interchange system one more is barcode and radio frequency technology next third one is intelligent transportation planning systems and fourth one is satellite tracking here in using this supply chain management you can easily transport your product from one place to another supply chain management covers procurement of raw material from the suppliers movement of raw material to the factories storage unit making provision of raw material as per the production requirements work in process inventory storage of finished goods or products transportation of products to warehouses and then to retail outlets and ultimately to the customers like everything will be managed in this supply chain management system the supporting very fast quickly the action will be taken using these new technologies like edi system barcode and radio frequency technology intelligent transportation planning system as well as satellite tracking here edi dramatically improves the speed of communication between shippers receivers and the transportation companies that move the goods between shippers and receivers transactions are done in real time and all parties can be kept updated without human intermediaries like electronically the messages will be getting to the customers everything will be the here internet tools are also able to supply similar communication services between these parties the use of technology results in reduced cycle time customer service improvements improvements in fulfillment accuracy and reduced inventories this all will helpful by the technology by the internet through the internet and scm includes the planning and management of all activities involved in sourcing procurement conversion and logistics management activities it also involves coordination and collaboration with suppliers intermediaries third party service providers and customers thus supply chain management integrates supply and demand management within and across companies okay this is about your supply chain management here everything is linked together it will be management system like which manages everything the raw material will be provided to suppliers the suppliers will be linked with the companies the company will get the products and product will be sent to the customers everything will be linked here and the transportation 
uh, details as well as the human resource management and linking through the companies of different companies links and manufacturers link everything will be will be there in supply chain management okay next will be next topic will be supply chain integration the com combination of this all how it will be done through supply chain integration here supply chain links have to be brought closer so that they work in coordination with each other knowing each other's responsibility and roles in a supply chain each channel partner is dependent on other partner and successful integration of the chain brings healthy profits for all here the manufacturing units are very much linked with the huge companies who will do the advertisements for the product as well as the suppliers who will supply the raw materials they are also linked with the manufacturing companies some suppliers will be act as a manufacturing companies as well as the raw material production companies also they will be they will be using both the activities here they will uh, produce the raw materials using the raw materials they will they will make the finished goods also finished products that products advertisement will be done by the companies the, those all people are linked together that is in supply chain integration if the integration if the connection is strong then their products will be they will be getting more margin and more benefits from this business and the companies will give advertisement and that will be done through online only all over the world the customers will be ordering the products within a few minute like within no time they have to dispatch their products okay everything will be done in this supply chain integration in this system in a supply chain each channel partner is dependent on other partner and successful integration of the chain brings healthy profits to all here healthy profits means everyone will get profit like manufacturing company will also get profit keeping its profit it will give it to company for advertisement company people will also get profit and margin after that the retail shops people will get retail shop will be getting more margin and profit after that it will sell it sell sold to the customers here sometimes firms use two types of vertical integration techniques as follows to concentrate rigorously and have more control in their business activities here in supply chain integration there are two types forward integration and backward integration in forward integration here the firm tries to gain control over the wholesalers and retailers by playing those roles itself for example reliance has opened retail fuel farm pumps itself to sell fuel obtained from its refinery industry here reliance company act as a wholesalers as well as retailers both the activities will be done by reliance company it only opened its retail fuel pumps it has given to the uh, who will apply for the retail uh, pumps reliance company will provide them but it will take both of the margins like wholesalers as well as retailers it will give a franchisee like reliance fuel pumps it will provide the uh, fuel to them that retail shops like forward integration here it will be having control over wholesalers as well as retailers both the activities and one more is background integration here the firm tries to gain control over its suppliers and ultimately to the raw materials for example reliance company earlier manufactured polyester cloth 
for which raw material was obtained from other suppliers like polyester cloth for that raw material will be obtained by the other suppliers but now due to backward integration it has acquired refineries from which raw material for its fabric is obtained like reliance trends see here they are opened their own shops trends but they are giving franchise for the retailers the retailers will take the franchise from the reliance company but the finished product will be everything will be done by reliance only they they will manufacture the fabric also for that cloth everything will be done by the reliance and they will make a finished product and they have opened their own trends franchises all over the cities they will give franchise for you people like you have to you have some minimum requirements which they will say you people you have to make the requirements and you have to pay the franchise fee they will provide you the their name like reliance trends it is very famous so they like requirements means you have to pay some lakhs amount like 5 lakh 4 lakh like that amount you have to deposit for their company and they will provide you the goods all types of cloth they will provide and they will do advertisement for you people also they will give advertisements in internet as well as tv medias and newspapers everywhere they will advertise for you people for that they are they charging for you people their name you are using for your outlet so they are taking that amount and some policies will be there that you have to agree like this was square feet shop should be there and ac should be there all conditions they will apply okay you have to be agree for that but margin is also more they will keep some few like uh, very less margin but the outlet people will gain more margin on the products the products will come from reliance company okay this everything will be linked this is background integration okay that is there in supply chain integration okay this completes your supply chain management system as well as supply chain integration in exam you will get like this questions it is theoretical part so the last definition of supply chain management you have to write definition at least two lines then they may ask what is supply chain management integration also that also you can define in two lines and for five marks sometime they will ask define supply chain management and explain its relevance with the diagram you have to draw the diagram and you have to define the supply chain management at least within 10 or 12 lines you have to write some in some question paper they have asked explain supply chain integration you have to write so what is supply chain integration and in that two types forward integration and backward integration that you have to write okay and for 15 marks you'll get like this question including all explain supply chain management supply chain integration with diagram you can draw for supply chain management diagram and you can explain supply chain integration okay next session we'll discuss different topics like functions of supply chain management have a good day always be happy